Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and I'm just doing a very casual vlog style thing from my hometown of Tiffin, Ohio. And I have my sister with me. This is Kim. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to just be strolling around our downtown area and we'll be chatting and we have Zayden with us. Hi. <laughs> Zayden's got it made in his little wagon here. So we're downtown in Tiffin, Ohio. We're about to come right in front of this not that any of you out there would know this, but we're about to come in front of the court, or what is it, the courthouse? Courthouse. Yeah, the new court, courthouse. The new courthouse. Yes. And this was such a point of contention for years. It was the drama. Uh -huh. yes, <laughs> the it was. drama. So, do you guys care to see it? I can show you here. Let's just go out here. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Yeah, that was all the drama right there for that building. A courthouse okay <laughs> we got our Ritz theater back there um, the theater brings in some acts I mean it's just a small town but it's really cute it's historical it's back there we'll walk back that way a little bit of course we have our Bailey Wicks <laughs> which is the best coffee ever in Tiffin. <laughs> yeah if you come to Tiffin Ohio if you're in the area or what have you this is the place that people go for their coffee it's everything yeah. How you doing back there, Zay Zay? <laughs> <laughs> you jamming? You want your cocoa? Are you tired? Are you about to take a nap? No. 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 <laughs> uh, what you yelling about back there? What are you saying, baby? <laughs> We're gonna go back to the Ritz Theater, honey. We're gonna go back to the Ritz Theater. Why? Just cause, cause it's cool, don't you think? Well, you've never been. So I moved away from Tiffin when I was 18. My sister has Still lived here. <laughs> All my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Kim, what has changed here since when we were kids that you've noticed? Uh, I notice it when I come back, but that's just cause I don't live here anymore. Right, a lot of these old buildings that were historic down here, they have actually revamped them. Um, some of the buildings needed to be tore down, like this building up here that we're coming up to. Um, used to be apartment buildings where our grandparents actually used to Oh, live. they're turning that down? No, they revamped oh. it. Oh, they're remodeled. New, oh, yeah. yeah, they're they're remodeling it and they're putting brand new apartments in there so they save the buildings. Tiffin's a very historical place. Yeah, a lot of the War of 1812 was fought here and in the surrounding area. Um, there's lots of like landmarks and things around here, the tree with the fence around it, well, if you're into history, there's that part of it, kind of a Mayberry, yeah, very yes. much so, uh, it's very much a town that, it, it, it likes its small town roots, and I think wants to keep them, so, yeah, so we kind of keep everything original around here, yeah, and here is Bailey Wicks, that we love and adore, yeah, hey Bailey Wicks, best coffee ever. <laughs> and they have their own little like you know regular cups. So I've been collecting from coffee places. I don't know why I'm doing that now but I didn't bring a big enough bag to take a, a coffee mug back with me. I mean that's how <laughs> little the bag is that I brought. Because I have you know I keep everything here. It's my hometown. My family lives here. So yeah I don't need to pack a bunch of stuff. But uh, if you guys live if any of you live out west, especially like Colorado Springs, you'll know that old Colorado City kind of looks like this ish. Um, when I went and I first saw the uh, old Colorado City, I wasn't that impressed because I was like, it looks like my hometown <laughs> of Tiffin, Ohio. So I am going to, we're coming up on, well, this, is the, this is the Sean Hotel. Yes. Or used to be the Sean Hotel. It used to be the Sean Hotel. So now, home. now it's a nursing home. So this is the Sean Hotel. This, I believe, this was the building that had this very kind of creepy fire, and uh, the sign, the like in hotel. It was just the first part, so it was glowing after the fire, and it said hot. And there was like some weird. There's some like ghost stories that came out of here too, right? Yeah. I mean, there's lots of places here in Tiffin. They're supposed to be haunted. Do they do a ghost walk? 
they do in October. They do a ghost walk every year. And it's a lot. Never been on one. Like either too cold or rainy, so I'm never done. Yeah, we got very lucky today. What would you say the temperature is at now? Maybe mid 40s. Yeah, it's not terrible. Not enough to melt the snow completely, but <laughs> it's not awful. So here is the Ritz. When we were growing up, this place was, I think, just showing movies or something like that. And uh, they've since started to branch out again and bring in some acts and. It's lovely, and I'm just so happy that they preserved this little theater. <laughs> Tiffin, Ohio is also known for Tiffin Glass, which they don't make anymore. You may have heard of Tiffin Glass. That's probably our only claim to fame. <laughs> so that's the Ritz Theater again. And a motorcycle going by, what can you do? And the Tiffin Glass shop is over there. That's the museum now. And just like in Colorado Springs, have all the big vroom vroom trucks. Everybody has to have the big vroom vroom trucks. Yep. Oh, they, they're selling the Tiffin candles in there. Okay, so there's the Tiffin Candle Company. I don't know if they're new. I think they're new, aren't they? Yeah, they're fairly new in town. Yeah. And amazing, amazing candles. They do this cute little town walk every season. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did the chocolate walk, and they were giving away chocolate candles. It was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> So, we're coming up, there's like a marker. So this is like, Kim, this is the Frost Parkway area, right? Yes. So this is a very, very historical, I was telling you guys about the War of 1812 and all of that. Just like every town has <laughs> their little sign up there. But um, Charles Dickens was apparently friends with a family here in Tiffin. He would stay in one of these houses over here quite often when he was traveling. So. There's that part, and then, oh, the tree. The yeah. tree with the, the fence around it is the Battle of Fort Ball, right? So, I wish there was more, like, the fall foliage is still here. Are we oh, good to go? Yeah, we're good to go. <laughs> it's about time you got out and did something with that. <laughs> what you up to, buddy? Zayden. Bubsy, look at me. I'm looking at you. <laughs> huh? You're just talking to the wagon? Yeah. Does it talk back to you? Yeah. Okay, good. Wagons can't talk? So here we have the old train depot, which they just renovated. Well, they didn't just renovate, it's been a few years now, but people keep doing crazy things to it. But I actually have a ghost story for this place, so here we go. When they were in the process of renovating this, I went out for a walk. And I came up on it, there was nobody inside, all the workers had gone home for the day. And when I walked up, I started hearing like 1920s style music. Had no idea where it was coming from. And then I got up closer. I didn't go inside because I wanted to be respectful of the people who own it, of course. Uh, but I heard music just randomly come on. And then it would go off. I was looking for a radio. I found one. There was a radio inside. But nobody was there to turn it on or off. And yet it was turning on and off with 1920s style music. It flipped me out. I got like tingles all throughout my body and I got the heck out of there. I was not about to mess with it. So, I see there's lots of people inside. I wonder, we've got like a little, got like a little event going on inside. Look how cute. I really love whoever put the time and effort into the restoration of this place. But again, there's like a private event going on inside, so let's not creep up on them, okay? 
So there's more to downtown than doing some construction here, but we're gonna go off to a park so Zayden can do his Zayden card pick. <laughs> You all right there, buddy? <laughs> yep, I'm a trooper. So what are we gonna do at the park? Okay, and how do we do that? Uh-huh, and then Aunt Michelle reads them? All right, we love it. What? <laughs> He just realizes that's inside out. Hold <laughs> up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out. Look at this little cute over here. What happened to your hot chocolate? Mommy went over a bump. <laughs> Is it okay? Do you want to say hi to everybody? Are you going to be recording some Zayden's bonus card picks? Yeah. We're going to do that at the park later. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year. How we loving our day. <laughs> cute boobs. Cute, cute. Bubby. <laughs> your, your face is a mess, honey. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ready to go? He wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. It says 1813. This tree marks the site of Old Fort Ball, built in 1813 by order of General Harrison. And then I can't see the rest of it. But anyway, there was like some historical significance to that. Check with historians if you're in the area and you care. Um, <laughs> there are plenty of people around here who can give you much better education than I could. Merry Christmas to everyone. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Just come in the visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.
Christmas.